I was exploring with my friend in an abandoned building, and when he found the lid to one of those very fancy uh, dinner tray things, you know, the, the lids that they take off and then they hand you the silver plate, and he found one of those, right? And he picked it up and he said, this looks like a shield, here, hit me. So I hit him with the only thing that I had on me, which was half of this rusty hedge trimmer thing. And so I hit him straight in the middle, and to our surprise, he didn't die. So I did it again, just to be sure. And he didn't die again. And so I decided to take the thing home and turn it into an actual shield. But not just any shield. The shield of... Captain America. Wait, wrong, 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 wrong video. Lucky for us, the handle was already removed when I hit it with my hedge trimmer. So all we have to do now is clean it. And mark out the places where we're going to cut off the shoe. Then in the safest way possible, I cut off the unwanted part with an angle grinder. Now I know there's a lot of doubters out there who might look at this and say that is not going to stop anything. It's definitely not stab resistant, maybe cut resistant, but it's definitely not going to take a pierce. And so here's a little clip of me going basically for full force on this thing with a pocket knife that I have. And of course, obviously, for anyone who is even thinking of it, obviously this thing's not going to be bulletproof. I don't have guns to test that, so I'm not going to make anything bulletproof until I have guns. Sounds reasonable, no? So in the end, I didn't end up going for what I originally planned out, which was where I was going to turn this into like an arm-mounted uh, like mitten gauntlet, or crab gauntlet, however you say it. It was going to be like a... Uh, this is the shield here, right? And then that was gonna have like a little bit of a gauntlet coming out as well as attached to the um, shield. In the end, I did something kind of like that, but it didn't end up working out for a number of reasons. But this actually turned out to be a good thing because then I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to piggyback on the success of Goblin Slayer, getting more views and having amazing people just like you to subscribe to my channel. So instead I ditched the extra piece to make it a mitten gauntlet and I shaped the pieces I was going to be actually using. Then I drilled the holes with my brandy new, beautiful, beautiful drill press, which is right there. You can't see it's off the screen. You'll be able to see it in a second. See it now.
It was at this point when I realized that a dome-shaped object wasn't going to fit on my straight and very muscular forearm. So I killed some trees and cut out these two pieces so my forearm can fit comfy. Then I attached the wood pieces to the shield. Apologies for the noise, that thing's always acting up. But I, want, I had to give a um, uh, quick rundown of what I've done so far because I uh, actually ran into some issues while recording the last thing and I didn't record some of the edits I made to this. So first off, this is what we have done. We have the bottom piece of wood attached and the top piece of wood attached. Now what the whole thing of this is, is your arm rests here, or like this, more accurately. And uh, this is pretty good protection. Anyway, so what I did is I also put in this leather strap underneath there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna drill some holes here and here and here and here and here, and I'm gonna get a strap down and hold this wooden piece in place. Wooden piece in place. Okay, I just remembered screws exist. Can we all give a hand to screws? All right, put your hands in the air. Yeah, I was like, hmm, man, I want to nail these together, but I know they're just going to slide out. I wonder what I could use to hold them down. And I'm like thinking about it, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to get all these like, this like leather strap idea, like rivets and all this stuff. And then I realized, why not just use a screw? So, um, I'm an idiot, and I actually forgot that screws existed. So, here we are. These three puppies are going to be holding most of this together. I put on the straps just because I already drilled the holes, and I'm not about to, you know, waste those holes. And I also put in some screws right here. Um, but yeah. This is pretty much, this is pretty much done. This, this whole secure. So now this thing is secure. It's not really moving. Now that our forearms are happy, we've got to focus on the hands. Okay, so I'm sorry for not explaining um, what I've been doing. This video um, was honestly a bit of a struggle for me. Not because this build's very difficult at all. It's just, um, I've had a lot of thoughts in my head while recording this. There's nothing related to this, just, you know, I've got a life outside YouTube and I don't know. I've just been thinking about things and uh, I kind of lost track of recording the video for the last half of it, so... I want to apologize, um, but I'm going to explain to what I did right now, so don't worry if you're making this alongside me. So what I'm going to be doing, with, or what I did, was I put on the straps here. Um, all this is, is this is actually just a scrap leather that I just slid, because there's a bit of a gap underneath here, that I just slid underneath. And this is my backup strap. I just put a bu buckle on it and a little thing here. That's very simple. It's literally just a strip, a strip of leather with a buckle on it. It doesn't need to be this thick. You just need something to strap this basically to your arm. You could get a belt, it doesn't matter. This on the other hand is a little more secure. I put a screw through a scrap piece of leather and I put another screw on that side, put a belt, and this is literally just a belt attached to the wooden piece underneath this. Now, um, this is the biggest thing I did. Or, this is the most notable thing I can really say that I did. I, um, uh, I put this stuff here. This, what this is, is this is foam clay. I really, I didn't even know I had this stuff. So what this, what this clay allows you to do is allows you to get an exact mold of your arm and account for up here, not just this flat part. Now, the last thing I want to fix besides painting this is you see this right here? This, this is digging into my skin. This little flap right here is absolutely killing me. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna try and sand it, or I don't know, maybe I might just cut this directly off. I used some leather dye to dye the foam clay, which worked surprisingly really well and turned out very jelly and soft-like.
And finally, I painted the famous X onto that shield. And so, yeah, that's the Goblin Slayer shield. I would test this thing fully, but it's been raining for the last few days. Everything's slippery, and I, it actually still might be raining. So I'll just give my two cents on it, and we can do a test in another video if you are so interested. And please let me know in the comments if you're interested, because if you're not, I probably won't do it. Overall, this shield's very awesome. I love the way it feels. I was originally worried this wouldn't stay on my arm and that I would just like move it and it would just like be really loose and really annoying. But this stays on well. It really, really does. And I love the way this looks and came out and the coolest feature in my opinion about this shield and the whole reason why I think it's actually worth it if you want to do to have a smaller shield like this opposed to something like that is the fact that you can have an offhand weapon or something else that you could hold like a flashlight or a um torch you know it's you have an you have an open hand and sure it's not you can't probably you probably can't do too well with two-handed weapons just because but it actually does work really well for something like an offhand while still having a a shield on your arm this is also something i feel like i can wear all the time like i can see myself wearing this for a few hours on end like easily i actually had this on for the last like 30 minutes of making this video and i just i like forget it's there how i would personally use this would be with like a hand and a half type weapon like this saw axe right here this saw axe tomahawk thing it's great because it's a you can get some really good like um i don't want to hit my camera but let me back up a little bit you can get some really full swings with just one hand but then if you want to get like a power strike or something you can use the two with this shield you know you can really get into that and really deal some damage even with a whole shield on your hand and imagine this imagine this coming at you. also something i think is really really interesting about the shield and just shields in general i guess but what's really cool about this is you can have like things like tucked inside so this shield has some like a little groove this right here here look this is a sack this is like a burlap sack that i put and taped in here and like if you're in the apocalypse right and you need like oh i need to collect berries or something you can just take this out of your shield or have a few bandages in here or tourniquets because it can fit in this dome shaped thing down here i have some matches and a striker like this would be your best friend for like storing things that are like light oh and, and so yeah this shield is sick goblin slayer is a great show and i hope you decide to make it of course that's if you can find that fancy lid plate thing i also just started this new poll for the zombie apocalypse where under my community tab uh i have a contest i'm running a contest right now for the overall best zombie apocalypse weapon and so I have like category like category axes out of these what is the best axe in your opinion and I'm slowly getting down rounds and rounds and rounds until we're going to have an overall winner of what is the overall best weapon in the zombie apocalypse that you will be voting on and I didn't tell this to anybody yet but it's a bit of a secret bro so don't don't go spreading your mouth about this all right a bit of a secret I'm probably going to be making the weapon that y'all vote on. So whatever wins, I'll probably end up making that weapon. So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, you didn't hear from me. I'm just saying. And so, yeah, I hope to see you soon, adventure. Well, like always, you know, farewell, friends.